y'all. It's Paula with Hillbilly Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic weekend. Um, mine has been really crappy. <laughs> really crappy. Sorry guys, it's been really bad. Um, that's why I'm doing this video. Um, I'm behind on videos now because uh, Thursday <laughs> My, my fighters are out there again. My dual, dueling hummingbirds. Um, Thursday morning, I wound up in the emergency room. Um, I Wednesday night, I was eating dinner, and I I have a hiatal hernia, a sliding hiatal hernia in my esophagus, and if I don't watch what I eat or how I eat it, I get choked. Well. It doesn't choke you from breathing, but it chokes you from swallowing. And this, I was eating steak and I got a piece of steak stuck. So I fought with it, fought with it, and um, I must have vomited 10 times and it just would not come up. And uh, so I fought with it a little bit overnight. Um, I, I slept with the head of my bed up so that uh, I didn't uh, choke in the night, and um, the next morning I couldn't take it anymore. My chest hurt so bad, my stomach hurt so bad. Um, I wasn't able to take, you know, my regular medicine, my anti-inflammatories and stuff. So my whole body was hurting. I just, it was a mess. It was an absolute mess because um, nothing would stay down. So I couldn't. There was no point in taking my medicine because it wouldn't stay down. So, anyways, I spent the morning in the in the emergency room, and believe it or not, it was as simple as they gave me a medication uh, through my IV that uh, actually um, expands your esophagus, and uh, they expanded my esophagus, and then I took a couple drinks of uh, ginger ale, uh, stood up, thought I was going to throw up, and it went down, and I was good to go and good to come home, and I was like, oh... I can't believe it was kind of that easy and I fought with it so long. I was like, I can't believe this. So anyways, the, but then Friday, I guess from not taking my meds and everything, Friday I was really weak and I just really felt bad. So I didn't get any videos made uh, Thursday or, you know, and of course Friday was watering day and I, it, was, it about killed me to get watering done. Saturday wasn't much easier um uh, i mean it was a little better but still i'm just still kind of on the mend but i wanted to bring this video to you guys because so much more has happened that comes a pretty red winged blackbird in they're so pretty i wonder if he'll fly now that i've seen him and moved oh he went down to the heater down to the ground um they're pretty they got red and wings and black wings Anyways, um, red and yellow on their wings. But anyways, um, so much has happened. Um, it's amazing how just in a bat of an eye, so much can, can, can transpire. Um, you know, this um, Roselia has that spike that uh, came out on her. Well, the other spike is, which I have it turned around, the other spike is uh if you can see it there it's starting it's trying to unkink so i'm keeping it facing the light but you can see if i'd show you instead of i'd show you the um <laughs> hang on guys all right turn it around here so we can see so you can see buds are starting to form on it and um everything's going to get in the way and uh like i said that spike is it's trying to unkink itself, so I'm just leaving it be. But one of the other big ordeals out here was uh, just out of nowhere, uh, Lillian Nakamoto. I mean, these spikes just shot up overnight. Um, but they're so big, you wouldn't think that they, they would shoot up that quick. But it was just like, boom, and there they were. And I was like, wow. Uh, a few of the blooms are out on um, Francine Rose Glow. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So there, it's starting to open. So like I said, just some things, and there's some more stuff in the grow. Oh, I can't forget Dawn Leathers here. I forgot her opening. Um, 
yeah, it's just so much as, um, so much extra things have happened since the weekend walk around just, you know, in a few days. And, uh, I definitely wanted to share it with you guys. So hang on, let's go to the grow room and I'll show you even more stuff transpiring back there. It's amazing. Just amazing. All right. Uh, here in the grow room, um, the spike on, um, Chuck Taylor has gotten longer and I had to move it because, um, <laughs> Where I was sitting and I was watering, I actually, the leaf got caught in my armpit and I pulled it off of the, <laughs> off of the stinking uh, stand and luckily it did not break the spike and I was like, Phew. so I wound up moving her because I didn't want to see that get broken. Um, I was looking, the, uh, the spike's gone that way, I guess, towards the light on, um, Guadalamensis. Uh, really pretty colors on this plant. I really like it. Really, really like it really well. Um, it's a real beautiful, beautiful girl. And of course, like I said, the uh, Ethel's Paradise is still out and in bloom. Uh, the spike is still coming along on Epi Magnolia, but the biggest news over here is when I was watering, <laughs> look who I found, and she's starting to crack open, uh, three blooms on Lily Marie, so really excited to see that coming about, um, let's see, go over here, of course the spike is still out on her but the other spike is get past that leaf dying there is up there um it's kind of went past so past the light and i have it turned around there so that this new leaf here gets better lighting too so that it can continue to grow but the spikes coming along on that one um i'm trying to think trying to make sure I don't forget anybody um, funny I was um, watering and uh, the new um, growth on uh, no Eno I don't want to see it because stupid tag where is it there so funny see it that's a bud on uh, zygopetalum no eno just because I chopped it up so excited to see that one coming along it wouldn't it wouldn't uh, bloom for me while um, while you know before I chopped it up while it was a big plant but down here, the, um, the why not sir, the spike behind it. Yay, that came up, came up so fast. I kept watching in that thing and I was like, maybe it's not gonna spike and sure enough, there it comes. And I was like, woohoo. So that's happening. And like I said, that was so quick. So it got missed in the, um, in the walk around. Um, <laughs> probably should have wrote down a list of the different things that was going on um, there's another three blooms coming up on um, Cataliente Rosemary so we're going to get to see more of her which is exciting um, I think that's it over here most of the news is on that side of the room so hang on and we'll head over there Alrighty, I did want to stop here. Um, I, I was telling um, one of my viewers, I said I really didn't give this plant justice uh, in the last walk around because uh, it was leaning up against there. My table was busy, and um, but this is the no ID um, Denphalopsis Denphal, um, and her spikes. 
four. Uh, that's why I said she's so top heavy <laughs> that they just, uh, they lean. It's got to lean against something because, you know, all that weight of those four spikes on that one growth is just crazy. Uh, it's a lot for her to handle. Uh, let's go across here. And um, there's a new spike on um, right there, and it's crooked. It got caught, too. On uh, on City of Rosie Sunset F, which is exciting to see. That one's brand new coming up. And um, down here, both blooms on Green Dragon. I'm gonna hold it still. Have opened. Fantastic little plant that is. That is. Um, Epi Magnolia crossed with Brassavola nodosa. Such a little cutie, really. Um, we have a new opened bud on Leptodes by color. Let's see if I can get it to turn around for you though, because it's not really the not the direction it's supposed to be. That's what she's supposed to be in. <laughs> of course, that would be crooked. A little crooked. Really, really cutie. Um, back there, you can see uh, buds coming out on Rhodosticta. And then also, big old spike on Vanda Peaches. And I see some um, color today. Woohoo! So, big old nice spike on Vanda Peaches. Very exciting. Um, also, the spike on uh, the Zygopetalum uh, Microfilum. Getting big there. Looking very nice. So, all this stuff's just, I mean, it's just happening. Firing off. Um, this little flower on this, um, Pinguicula is a different bloom, different than I've ever had. Um, let's see what else. Oh, the biggest news is, I can get to it. Let me zoom back out a hair. Oh, I'm still tired, y'all. Had to finish watering today. Um, three open out of four blooms on Catlea Concern. She's such a cutie. Set her back there in the light. So we have three very nice blooms open on her. Looking good. That was new. Um, let me zoom out. And let me think a minute. I think that's it, you guys. So, um, well, I can show you a little bit better the buds on uh, Brass of All the Little Stars here. If the light will sit still. Three are going to come out on it. Very nice, sticky sap, happy sap. So, um, that's basically, that's it, guys. Um, but really, you know, so I said a lot a lot of those have transpired weren't even really in the weekend walk around. So but with that said, I appreciate y'all stopping by and hanging out with me and bye for now y'all. Till we meet again.